time we should learn something for us and I am happy to share this with you this is actually my video that uh, for our school and uh, it's great to share this with you good luck to me let's play so what I mentioned a while ago there are three things that we can do once you have the ball is either you can dribble it dribbling or you can also pass it to your team or shoot the ball because that's our main goal for us to have the score right so now let's talk about the four kinds of dribbling first we have the left and right dribbling second we have this crossover three we have the between the legs and the fourth thing that we need to do is behind the back so let's do it one by one for me to show you how we are going to do this okay and dribbling when we say dribbling we have to bounce the ball to the floor so i'm gonna use my right hand
now we have the red. But uh, you should be flexible in this kind of the game, which is the basketball. That's it for the right and left dribbling. I hope you learn from this part. This is the first kind of dribbling. Now, the second thing that we are going to have is the crossover. Crossover is just using the ball. Okay, we have to bounce it from right to the left. Cross over because you have to bounce it going to the from right to left and left to right. You should learn how to do this repetitively, alternately, because you can learn something from this if you keep on doing it. So let's start with this. As you can see the ball. Okay, this time what we're going to do is the third one. We call it between the legs. Between the legs because you have to come here, you have to do this position. Okay, so straddle position here. Like this, you have to move your feet forward like this. And then you come here, right? Okay, then you have to bounce it. Okay, and then bounce it because we call it between the legs because you have to bounce the ball between your legs and then your hand must touch it, touch it. okay for beginners like me i should execute this like this uh, kind of dribbling like this like that then bounce again if you want then go to the other side then go like this and do that Then like this, again. Then you can also do like this on the other side. Okay, same thing. Maybe like this. Then like this. Okay, that's better. Okay, the secret for doing this, I learned that I actually don't know how to do this, but I always do this, I always dribble the ball. But then there are times that I the ball is asking me to chase to chase him him because it's blue color. Okay, so we're going to have the fourth one, the behind the back. So first we should uh, drink water again. Okay, I hope you learn something from me. <laughs> Ayaw na naman, hindi ka ni Jesper itong lalagyan nito. Actually guys, this is from UNC. This is my university, my school. They gave me this to me. After. After I had my interview. So, I love my school. And we have this kind of learning activity during pandemic. Ayun si natin. Okay, so what I'll be doing for the for the fourth one kind of dribbling is the behind the back. Actually, you have to do this. This what I this is what actually figure out or learn something. Okay, so. You really have to do execute because you you are going to use this the ball. You have to touch it. You are going if here doing the first over here on behind the back. You have to throw it behind you. So first, I will make tip on this before you do this. 
to avoid the stiff neck or anything unnecessary what they call that a pain your neck stiff neck pain body what they call that to avoid that you should have this first okay first have this okay then have this okay so when doing this i i learned it by you should move your body like this as if like this okay so you have to straddle your feet like that or like that so because remember being a basketball player you need to be really flexible so how are you going to do this to do that like that okay so first dribble it okay okay let's do this i'm gonna use my left hand See, you have to really catch on time. So you must be fast. Your your ability to move fast. Okay. I'm not that pro, I'm just trying to learn also. So I hope you are learning something from this video. So let's have a look at this. Just always remember, you have to be creative. You have to think, why are you doing this? Okay, so I just want to share with you that how I was able to learn this. It's very hard for me because I'm a, I'm a girl. I also a woman with two children. I, I have met children already and then it's hard for me to do because this is my first time but I love I this I love to play basketball as well. I have my experience before but then I realized that as a mother of training. Okay, for you to learn something you should be persistent to yeah and then watching so i'll be seeing you for my next video which is the passing see ya bye